Ушли и морда. Down there, how good is his takedown defense? Straight to the body by Lee. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg And kick. both guys really throwing with authority. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, that punch will count, landed flush. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Liver kick. Pretty good right hand. Again, back into this position. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. How's he gonna follow this one? Left hook! He gets the elbow up into the target. He is all about that left kick to the body. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Let me see that hook now. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Elbow there in the clinch. Punch is blocked. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, collar tie. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Ooh, head kick lands. This hurt. Nice one, two there. Back and forth we go. Head kick. He's just got a great feel for the striking round early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nice. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands some big knees from in close. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. And they separate. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And he switches his stance yet again. 
All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Big leg kick land. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. They continue to exchange. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Beautiful strike. Right hand counter. Ooh, what a head kick. Right hand upstairs. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Lee gets caught with that punch. Such a fast leg kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And there comes the separation now. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard DC and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Got the single collar tied. If your opponent has you in the clinch, Pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Switching stances here. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. Got Cliff with the right hand. Single collar tie here. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Nice head kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Can't take many of those. You better check. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow around the guard. Right on the button. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, you gotta like 
the output here, so aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Punch over the top. All right, single collar tie now. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Oh, big uppercut there. Didn't get the knockdown, but that is a significant strike. A very significant strike. Nice entry into the finish directly. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Lee is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your working out of this half. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts strikes. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Out of range with that one. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, master of the transition. Nice scramble. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lee gets hit with a kick. And that one certainly found the target. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big punch from the clinch. Keep your hands up. Use your now. Whiffs on the right hand. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Way to hide that leg kick. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Powerful leg kick land. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Lands with the right hand. Oh, big knee to the head. Wow. Big combination. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Some nice back and forth action here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Visibly limping here. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Big punch lands through the middle. Trying to establish that jab once again. Right hand punch from the clinch. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Takedown defense holds up. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Single collar tie now. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Oh! Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. Oh, knee to the head. That never feels good. Real quick leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, 
Again, back into this position. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Goes back to that left kick once again. Don't back up. Push forward. <laughs> nice punch by Lee. Oh, collar tie. Look at the force behind that leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Sneaky head kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Boy, tie plump. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. So here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Big kick land. Try to establish that jab. Slips the punch. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. And he continues to work the body here. A single call. You can't take too many of those big elbows. Beautiful head kick. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Lands an elbow there. Nice job by Lee. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Big leg kick lands. Connects with a right. That's a big strike right there. Oh, single collar tie here. Counters with a left punch. We march on three minutes to go. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Big he lands to the body. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Liver kick. Nice combination of kicks there by Lee. A little single collar tie there. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Big kick. Lee's kick. 
kick is blocked. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Nice. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badger in that left side of the body. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. All right, single collar tie now. Yeah, he fixed it all up. There's that head kick. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, big head kick land. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Blocks that strike, and they separate. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good punch land. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Single collar tie now. Back and forth we go! All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Nice strike. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Slips to avoid the right. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, big punch lands. Goes upstairs with the kick. Oh! 
Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Double leg. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Close guard. Under two minutes now with which to work. Lee's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. He's having his way with him here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, close guard now. Gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Both fighters back to their feet now. Leg kick. It's a good right hand right there. There, pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Nice leg kick. Nice uppercut. Victory in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Lee gets caught with that punch. Beautiful body kick. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. All right, so the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here. And I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on, and tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Join the winner by unanimous decision, and still, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so his welterweight greatness continues tonight and still UFC champion. I think on nights like tonight, you're glad you don't fight at 170 pounds. This dude's a problem. I mean, he is a problem for anybody, anybody within the weight area. If he decides to go up.